is quick, delicious, and has attitude. With its beautifully spiced tomato dressing and cool mozzarella, my angry bean salad really packs a punch. First job, I want to make a beautiful arabiata sauce. And arabiata means angry, and it has that classic sweet, hot chilli sauce that goes through it. So I'm going to use 400 grams of cherry tomatoes. Let's just pop these into the water for about 30 to 40 seconds. And that's enough to remove the skin, which means when you make the sauce out of this, you'll get such sweetness. It'll be really fresh and full of life. So a little bit of cold water. And you can see already that skin starts to kind of peel back. Beautiful. We'll put that to one side. So next job is the beans. 400 grams of these. Often you'll see people just cut the end off of this side and this side and waste a load. We don't want that. We want to keep this wispy end because it's beautiful. And I just want to take that end off there. So just rack them together and then literally trim off the bare ends. So there you go, super quick. Let's get the lid back on here. Let's bring those to the boil. And then what I want to do in the meantime is just get the tomatoes off the vine. So peeling these cherry tomatoes is a bit of a faff, but it's completely worth it. It's going to make you the freshest tomato sauce ever. And it's weirdly therapeutic. I actually love doing it. It reminds me of kind of bursting those little bubbles that you get in packaging when they send it in the post. Nice. So look, beans looking good. They're still a bit under, but they're going to cook with the tomato sauce, that little bit extra, so they suck up all the flavour. For the base of the sauce, get a pan on a low heat, add a tablespoon of olive oil, and then go in with four cloves of garlic and one or two chilies, depending on how spicy you like it. Now, herb-wise, I'm going to use mint, which I absolutely love. Just four nice big sprigs. Give it a little wash and just take those leaves off and we'll just click it in. And this beginning is a brilliant way to flavour any veggies. Peas, asparagus, courgettes. So just as the garlic starts to take on colour, that's when we're going to go in with the tomatoes to stop that frying and start simmering. And then I want three tablespoons of good red wine vinegar. But what I'm looking for is this kind of emulsification of the tomato juices and the vinegar. So this is the time now to put in the green beans because it will stick to them Let that cook for one minute while I griddle some bread. So these are looking perfect. Let's plate these up. Look at that. And then I want some beautiful, refreshing mozzarella. And this one I'm going to use is bocconcini, the little baby ones. A complete contrast to that amazing arabiata dressing. All I do now is take some of these mint leaves and just tear them up over the top. Absolutely beautiful. A completely surprising and different salad and a million miles away from a bowl of salad leaves. The nice thing about having this crostini or bruschetta underneath the beans is it soaks up all of the juices. And look at that. <laughs> that, my friends, is beans on toast that's a little bit different. Mm. Those beans are an absolute triumph. That ability that you saw so many times of taking a humble vegetable and elevating it to a place where it's truly special. And with a little thought, with a little love, a little care, you can do things that are really surprising and totally delicious.